Hi again. So there's a few things that get me going, but one of the things that get me going is manufacturers that produce very expensive jackets, very expensive jackets like this, and then what they do is they cut the buttonholes like this. So I've started to unpick it, so please just ignore that. But you can see here the buttonholes are cut. Now that's certainly a really nice feature. The problem is not everybody's arms are the exact same length of the sleeves when they're manufactured. So then they come to someone like me who does clothing alterations and they say, <clears throat> I need my sleeves shortened. And as soon as I see a cut buttonhole, I think, oh, here we go again. Why can't manufacturers get it? You can't unpick a buttonhole. The fabric is all joined together, right? It has to be, obviously, for the buttonhole to be cut. So that means that for someone like me, who needs to get in there to shorten it, and needs to be able to open these two pieces of fabric to be able to do that, I can't. And there's no way that I can unpick that buttonhole do it and then try and put that buttonhole back together again. For starters, I don't have a buttonhole machine like that. Buttonhole machines are, I don't know, I don't know what they cost. I know they're, they're, they're not super expensive, but then there's all different styles of buttonhole machines. And for someone like me uh, to go out and buy all the different types of buttonhole machines just so I can, you know, cater to some stupid designer who's decided to cut the buttonholes because they think it's trendy, that infuriates me. So I just want to show you here, this is the inside, and I'll do a, a, a zoom up in a minute, but that's the inside. You can see there, there's the buttonhole, it's cut, and there's no way I can get to it. In fact, the most I can do for this gentleman is a half an inch, and then I'm going to have to try and, instead of mitering it by machine, I'll probably miter it by hand. So, so that's the best I can do. The other option, of course, is to shorten it from the sleeve cap. That in itself, again, on a tailored jacket with horse hair and everything else that goes with it, is a massive job. And so therefore, a big expense for the person who bought this jacket. So what I want to say to you is, please share this video to anyone that you know buys suit jackets or jackets and get them to talk to the designers. I'm not gonna say who this jacket is designed by because I don't wanna get myself into trouble. But I can say that many years ago, and I'm going back probably about 15 years ago or more, a designer of ladies jackets started doing this. And because one of my clothing alteration shops was doing a lot of the alterations for people within the shopping center that this designer had their shop, I went in there and I said, look, you can't, you can't cut buttonholes. You know, people want their sleeves shortened and if they want them shortened, you know, I can't do it if you've cut the buttonhole, except of course, if I go from the sleeve cap, which of course is very expensive. You know, can you talk to your head office about not cutting the buttonholes? And I got a very, very scathing, rude email back. So, I ignored them. I personally used to go and buy my clothes from that company. I don't anymore. I never will. Because they didn't understand what I was talking about. So rather than, you know, coming and saying, you know what, yeah, we can see that there's an issue, they told me that I didn't know what I was talking about 
and they continue to cut their buttonholes, as does this company and a couple of others. So please share this video, pass it on, and um, you know maybe we can stop some of those designers from doing this ridiculous thing. And if you want any of them to talk to me and contact me, be happy to chat to them. So what's the alternative? The alternative is an imitation buttonhole. And what they do is, what 99% of manufacturers do because they're intelligent human beings who understand that their clientele might need to have their sleeves shortened on their jackets. So they put what's called an imitation buttonhole on one, the top layer on the top layer only and the layer underneath it's not attached to the layer underneath so that people like me can come in and shorten it and in some cases if it's getting shortened a lot I can remove the imitation buttonholes and leave the buttons on in some cases I can remove just the bottom one because you know it might only be coming to say there and I can remove the bottom imitation buttonhole and leave three on and so there are choices but there's no choice with this no well there's the sleeve cap but that's it